Welcome, YouTubers, to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the topics you must know for the mathematics knowledge subtest of both the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB, as well as the pre-screening Internet Delivered Computer Adaptive Test, that is the PICAT. More specifically, I hope to answer this question. There's so much information. Where do I get started? So in response to that, here's what I have to say. I have a playlist for every topic you need to know for the math subtest of the ASVAB and PICAT, including for math knowledge and arithmetic reasoning. In addition, I have playlists for electronics information, general science, and automotive information. All of those are freely available. In other words, you don't have to spend a dime on test prep for the ASVAB and PICAT as long as you stick with my free playlist. Now that I've answered that question, I want to go through each and every math topic that you need to know for the math knowledge subtest. In other words, if you understand all 13 of these topics, you'll have no issues with this subtest of the ASVAB and PICAT. First and foremost, you have to know how to add, subtract, and multiply like terms in polynomials. You have to know what factorials are. Again, a factorial is just that exclamation point in math. You have to know how to factor. Again, you'll see at least two to three questions involving factoring on the test. You have to be able to calculate an average or a mean by hand. And of course, that's going to require you to do some long division. So you have to know how to do long division by hand as well. This is a huge part of the test. You have to be able to solve equations. Uh, in addition, you also have to be able to evaluate expressions. These two things are very similar. And if you look at my playlist, you'll see that I have 100 plus videos on both of these topics. Truth be told, geometry does show up very frequently in the math knowledge and arithmetic reasoning subtest. Specifically, you have to be able to find area, perimeter, volume, and surface area, and you have to know how to apply the Pythagorean theorem. So this applies to squares, rectangles, rectangular prisms, triangles, and so on. Uh, you have to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions and the reciprocals. Again, fractions makes up a huge part of the ASVAB. And for that reason, if you look at my playlist, you'll see that I have 100 plus videos involving fractions. You have to be comfortable finding the squares and cubes, as well as the square roots of numbers. You have to be able to find the area of shaded regions, which again is testing your knowledge of geometry particularly of circles, squares, rectangles, and so on. You have to be able to calculate slope and identify equations of lines. You have to understand how prime numbers work. And finally, you have to know some basic arithmetic, which means you have to be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide positive and negative numbers, as well as numbers involving decimals. So here's the link to the playlist on my YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and put that in the description of this video. And as you can see, I have playlists for all the topics I mentioned in this video. Guys, last, I want to say this. Don't spend more than $30 on test prep for the ASVAB and PICAT. At most, you want to buy a study guide from Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Truth be told, the vast majority of you are smart enough to pass this test on your first try. As long as you spend a few days to the month diligently preparing for it. There are tutoring groups out there that are charging as much as $250 for test prep for the ASVAB and PICAT. Do not fall for that. You do not need to pay more than $30 to prepare for this test. And I guarantee you, if you follow my advice, you should pass it on the first try. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and cut you loose. Konnichiwa.